In Canada, we have a fantastic record on creating science, but when it comes to actually getting those inventions out into the marketplace and commercializing them, we don't score very well. 80% of our PhD students in science and engineering will not go on to a career in academia. There's not enough positions for them. We don't have the government research lab positions that we used to, neither do we have large R&D labs in large organizations where someone can just be a scientist. What we do have in Canada is a lot of SMEs who would be happy to employ our scientists but require them to know something about new product development. And that's what we aim to do with this program, is to give scientists and engineers some of those tools. There's a number of excellent programs that teach lean startup principles for apps development, for things that you can do in your garage and get out into the marketplace to get feedback within a year or two years. What we don't have is entrepreneurship programs that help scientists to think about the complex commercialization challenge around their inventions in the marketplace. Long time frames, high uncertainty. Think, for example, of developing a new method of delivering a drug. These things can take 10 years and can involve hundreds of millions of dollars of financing. So the early stage prioritization of R&D and commercialization direction, market selection, are critical. We have a number of professors whose research is in innovation management, science and technology commercialization. My research is in the uh, commercialization of nanotechnology, biotechnology, uh, and clean technology. And we wanted to offer some of the frameworks and lenses through which we look at very difficult commercialization problems to our own scientists and engineers as well as those in the Greater Vancouver area. My colleagues and I published an article in Nature Nanotechnology about the emergence of the global nanobiotechnology space. Currently, we're working on another paper that is on also the nanobiotechnology space, but on a very prolific scientist entrepreneur. He has a special sauce for being able to commercialize ventures in the very, very difficult biomedical space. Patenting strategy, paper strategy, and uh, platform technologies, very generic technologies that can be used over and over again in several different industries. And so we've studied his commercialization strategy in depth and we're currently uh, publishing a paper on the t techniques that this prolific scientist entrepreneur uses to be able to get his inventions out of the lab and into the world and making a great impact. Students will have classes in different aspects of marketing, opportunity identification and assessment. We're also teaching some finance courses, first just an introduction to financial literacy, and then more advanced finance in terms of deal making and what the scientists need to know to get money that's going to be helpful to them in the long run. We wrap all of this together with one-on-one -on -one integrative sessions with a faculty member in developing a business plan and an elevator pitch. Students will have access to researchers who look at innovation in the life sciences, in nanotechnology, in clean technology. They'll also have access to uh, finance professors and the BD faculty who teach in our Management of Technology MBA program. This is a 12-month program offered part-time on Wednesday evenings at our downtown Vancouver campus. It'll be a cohort of 15 students uh, who are all graduate students or recent alumni from PhD science and engineering programs at SFU and at UBC. And they'll all have in common that they're interested in trying to commercialize ideas that are very challenging to get out in the marketplace. We very much believe in real world learning and engaging with the world. And so not only will students in this program be exposed to theories and frameworks that will help them make better decisions in prioritizing R&D and new product development, but they'll also have access to a network of mentors through Ventures Connection, through our incubators here at SFU, and also through the New Ventures BC competition. They'll have a chance to pitch their ideas to local venture capitalists and, uh, and seed capitalists. Definitely, this will not be just theory. This is both theory and frameworks, as well as 
um, an integration with uh, the real world.